Today I'm showing you exactly how to use Lunar Client, probably the most popular proxy for uh, MCPE. Right as you see, I've got it pulled up right over here. If you want to find out how to download, install it, then I will link that right down in the description below for you guys. Anyways, we'll start off with the actual app itself and then we'll move into Minecraft as well. So as you can see, I have Lunar right over here. Um, right at the top we can enter in the server details of whatever server we want to join and then we will just be able to click on connect and because our Minecraft account is connected to this we can gen then join the proxy through Minecraft which I'll show in a second. For the rest instead of typing these in manually as you can see we have all of the featured servers options here as well. We can add custom servers here um, save them ourselves if we want to type in uh, a specific IP and a port right up here. For the rest, it also has my recent servers. As you see, I've recently joined 2B2TPE with this. For the rest, in this tab over here, uh, we can find our account. We do need to link this to our Minecraft account. That way the proxy will work. Be able to verify we own Minecraft and be able to verify uh, to what account it needs to send the proxy through. For the rest, you can choose your language. And then there is also some premium options over here. I definitely don't recommend premium. Uh, there are ads in this app sometimes. Um, once again, I don't recommend getting premium. Uh, you won't get any ads when you're actually inside of Minecraft, which obviously then it doesn't matter that much. There's an FAQ down over here. Uh, they also have their own Discord server where you can ask questions if you're having troubles. Plus, I've actually got a Discord server too. I'll link that down in the description below. Anyways, back over here, uh, we can just connect to anything. In this case, I'll choose 2B2TPE, and then it's going to show me an ad, but oh well. And now, as you can see, I have been connected. So it says connected su successfully over here. So we don't want to close the app, we can just exit out. Alright, so I have entered Minecraft right now, and uh, inside of here, I can simply press on play, and now, in this case, uh, we're going to view my worlds here, we're going to see servers here, but if we want to find where the lunar proxy is, we actually want to go over to the friends tab, and then under the friends tab, under LAN games, we'll be able to find our lunar proxy, and although it is under LAN games, it will still just allow us to join a server. Alright, so apparently 2B2TPE um, was still outdated from my current version, so I'm updated too far. I mean, that's uh, that's all right, I guess. Because I was too lazy to downgrade, I just uh, decided to log into the Hive instead. Maybe not the smartest idea, but oh well, who cares? Um, this is a good proof of concept, and I at least I suppose. So in the chat over here, we want to type in a dot. Uh, so the dot is going to be the prefix for the commands. In regular Minecraft, you would use a slash uh, here. You can see a list of commands we can use with the slash, but for lunar commands, we want to use the dot, and we want to just type in dot help in chat right here. And then typing in dot help is going to give us a list of all the commands that lunar client has that we can use. Um, you don't need to worry about other people here in this world seeing this. They won't be able to. Um, I hope... Not too many people are going to be active in chat, otherwise it's going to mess up my recording. Anyways, here uh, we can see all of the normal commands. There's uh, settings, reach, speed, fly, phase, jetpack, kill aura, TP aura, spam, hitbox, game mode, friends, haste, jump boost, levitate, snow falling, nuke, free cam, tap TP, timer, knockback, and then dot prefix. The dot prefix at Mac command allows you to change the dot into any other key you want. Um, for us, there's also an important one, which is the friend command. It allows you to add um, friends within Lunar Client. And then when you use something like Kill Aura, for example, which um, we saw right over there, then it's actually, it, like, it, the Kill Aura won't affect your friends. That's why it's an important feature. Uh, for the rest, if you're not sure how to use the command, you can simply type it in chat and you'll get the usage. So say I want to find out um, how to use the, I don't know, the, the, the dot speed command. Well, I can just type dot speed in chat, just like this, and then it gives me the exact usage. So as you can see, I need to type dot speed and then the amount of speed I want. That's pretty simple, although some of these can get more complicated, of course, but for the rest, that's pretty useful. Now, as you can see, apart from the regular dot commands, Lunar also supports the sl a few slash commands. They have slash kill aura, slash dp aura, 
hitbox slash knockback slash server info and then some toggles as well you can access with the slash command the server info one is pretty um, useful I'll just type this in server info my typing on mobile isn't too fast in this screen layout but as you can see when I type in that um, it gives me the server's IP port um, the seed as well as the spawn coordinates in this case that can be useful um, especially for example in lifeboat survival if you know what that is you can view coordinates and the like for the rest let me get back in chat real quick right here for the rest this should be pretty self-explanatory finally one more important one would be settings so settings we need to stretch my thumbs here but oh well um so as you can see this basically just shits out all of my settings that i have have set over here um and this actually a lot un unlocks a lot more features uh, as you can see fast eat for example um is currently off these are the toggles by the way which you can actively slash toggle command i'll actually show you guys that in a second but basically here we see the settings for each of the utilities so for example for the velocity we can see that my velocity is currently turned off but also what the values would be set to right so we can view all of that an incredibly useful command um, and here for us you can basically see all the customization for all the other utilities um, and then just really useful in general and then finally we'll go toggles here um, or it's, it's slash toggles isn't it let's see if I can go back here type in slash toggles and then this is going to open up this toggles area where you can for example turn on night vision over here on the hive you have night vision by default so that's fine you won't notice a difference there you can for example turn on show coordinates um, you can turn on all these other things over here and so for example i can show coordinates um, or you can do fast eat no blindness auto sprint a massive one on mobile uh, anyways show coordinates i can just click on submit and now as you can see my coordinates are going to be on screen over there obviously not the most exciting thing in the world but a lot of them are it's so that's ironic <laughs> that it's it's so cool um anyways yeah for the rest if you don't know how to use the command as i did say earlier just type it out in chat it's as easy as that and now because i'm on the hive i can't resist dot fly fly has been enabled Oh my god, I'm flying on the hive. I expected, okay, I'm not going to lie, I expected to be kicked. Not at all banned, right? Because why would I get banned? I expected to be kicked in like three seconds for flying on the hive. But honestly, this is pretty cool. Yeah, subscribe for that.